hello everyone welcome back to makes inspirational corner if you've already subscribed thank you very much for subscribing if you haven't done that yet why don't you subscribe and also share with friends okay guys um today i just want to show you how i make a very quick um snack which in a Ghanaian language is called buffrot some people call it tobe others call it puff puff or you can say donut so i'm going to show you how i make my donut or my buff road and it's very quick this it can be as a snack it can be as a main course or can be added as part of your beverage so let's get going so in here i've got two cups of water yeah and i just add one tablespoon of sugar into it and then I also add some yeast. I do I add one. What I'm using is half, so I'm just using two. So this is one. And the yeast makes it to rise. So yeah. And then what I do is I just mix it. So you just mix, mix it, uh, mix it into your mix. Yeah, so water, sugar, and some and some um what do you call it some yeast yeah that's it you just mix it you want it to mix with the water i just add a little bit of the yeast to it i don't add too much because um when it's too much it's not nice well in my opinion anyway like I said, I'm not a professional chef. I'm just a lady who enjoys cooking. So anytime I'm doing something, I just want to show you a quick way or an easy way of how I do my stuff. Yeah, then you mix it all together. Once you've mixed all together, then you cover it and set it aside for about five minutes. Yeah, so you set it aside. okay now in here i've got four um four cups of flour and i'll add one no half cup of sugar because i don't want it to be too sweet if you want one you can do one but i don't want it too sweet so i've done half a cup of sugar and i've got my half um tablespoon of salt and a bit of um what do you call that nutmeg just to give it a bit of flavor and then what you do is you mix them all together make sure you give it a proper mix you mix in all the dry ingredient together so that's what i'm doing mix it all together okay Yeah, so if you continue to mix, make sure all your dry ingredients are mixed together. Then what you do next is you add the liquid ingredient gradually to it. Yeah, so you just mix it. The water that you use will depend how you want your buff road to be. So if you want it to, um, if you want it to be thick, you don't need to put a lot of water in it if you want it to be soft and fluffy then you put a little bit of more water if you want it in between so that's how i do it that's why i use two cups of water then because that i've done it before so i know that two cups of water will give me the perfect texture that i want so what you do now is you just mix in your ingredient yeah you just mix it together to get a smooth paste so that's all that i'm doing to get a smooth paste to get a smooth paste so yeah you just mix it have fun mixing if you have a hand blender you can use it to mix but you can also do some exercise and mix it with your hand 
<laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I like doing it with my hand. So you just mix. You mix. This is the texture you are looking for. Well, this is the texture that when I have this texture, I know my donut or my both fruit is going to be very smooth. And also very fluffy and not too thick. So yeah. Once you mix, then what you do is you just set it out. You cover it and you allow it to rise. So you cover it normally, I cover it for about 30 minutes. So you cover it and put it aside for about 30 minutes. You can put it for one hour if you want, but I normally cover it for 30 minutes. So I'm going to leave it for 30 minutes and come back to it. Okay, so after 30 minutes, what you will see is it's raisin a bit. I just did for 30 minutes. So you can see that it's raisin, it's rice and yeah so and this is the texture today i'm not going to use my hand to do the buffet but i'm going to and um, cheat a bit and i'm going to use my donut maker hope you can see that yeah this is a donut maker when i discovered this um item it really made life easier when i was when i'm anytime i'm making a donut yeah so i'll cheat so this is how it looks like it's like a cup but it's got a hole in here so that's where i'm going to drop them so what i'm doing is i'm going to use my donut maker today this cup can be used for different things i can even use it to make cupcakes so today is being used to make um both fruits so just what you do just scoop it into into the cup can you see so you just you just fill it up and i'm going to show you how easy it is with this with this cup what i will do is i will leave the measurement in the link so that you can have a look yourself so you just fill it up with it and then you just go and fry it so that's all so i filled it up you just fill it up and then that's what is in there and i'll just go and fry them yes yeah, so in here i've got my pot and i've got a bit of oil in it i've put it on the fire because i prefer the oil to be hot before i put the or i squeeze the donut in because in, then it fries really quickly so yeah any oil of your choice and in a pot and then I do that so this is how i'll turn the fire on a bit so this is this is the trick so we in in goes my hair so you just squeeze it depending on the sizes that you want to determine the scoop that you do you see how easy it is with this cup or with this donut I prefer a small pan then it's easier for me yeah so you just wait for it to tender yeah so you just put it in there I normally prefer to use a smaller bowl so that it all stays in together I don't like using a bigger a bigger pot but if you are doing for a large um large number of people then yeah obviously you need a bigger thing so yeah so you just make sure they all in and then they all um get fried and you turn you just have to be gentle with it yeah you see why i love my donut maker because it makes it very simple you know it makes it easier for me to scoop them to scoop them in there okay so what you do is I, you just i don't want them too dark so i try to fry them to golden brown okay
so that's all I'm doing I'm just making a bit making them fry a bit making them fry let them fry let them enjoy some oil and then you can just do that you can just do that make it fry make it for some time yes so as you see I just turn them gradually in because I want every bit to be golden brown like I said I don't want it too dark so this is this is the perfect um, this is the perfect texture for me so you just bring it closer and then you just drain them that's it so that's all I'm trying to get them all out that's quite easy to make and if you like donut or if your family like buffalo, you can always make these ones. You know, I remember in Ghana, they do it and they sell it by the roadside. Okay, so that's how it is. That's how um, done. So I'll just do second round. Just squeeze in. This donut maker is like a lifesaver, trust me. <laughs> It's, I know I'm cheating, but come on, you got to make life easy for yourself, you know. Ta-da! All ready now to enjoy my very own buff road. Thank you for watching this clip, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye. See you another time. It's Meg's Inspirational Corner here. Bye.